Keith Wood was singing Zombie with his top off on Saturday, Stuart. Are you telling me that's a weakness? Well, if, I'll tell you what, if, if, if ever there is a day that um, it has come that Stuart Barnes becomes the pragmatist, I think that's pretty horrendous. <laughs> like the world has turned on its axis. Um, my God, you have to celebrate the emotion. That's what was there on that day. And I, actually, if I look back at my own career, and we didn't win many matches, but I wish I cheered more when we won because they were big ones. But I, I do think the manner in which we played negates your comment, actually, because I think we made enough of errors and enough of flaws not to get carried away for the fact that we had a victory, but to be able to celebrate the victory for what it was, which was number one against number two in the world, beating the world championships or champions on that day of attrition was something to be able to put your hands up to the sky for. Yeah. Stuart, it's a very interesting observation, though. So celebration will be seen by the South Africans as a sign of weakness is the line I thought was very interesting. So give us your well, thoughts. Well, that's because uh, Razia Rasmus and Jack Ninabar approach the game very psychologically. Um, they do things differently. Even the 7-1 split on the bench, is, is, is it's almost a, a, a psychological intimidation. And... Razi Erasmus will have slow motions where that penalty is given from the scrum and said, look how happy they are. They've just won it. And that's why I wrote, it's just a game of rugby. Ireland haven't won anything. They, it's an amazing thing that Ireland are probably quite pleased now because they think if things go all right and they don't blow it against Scotland, they'll only have New Zealand as opposed to mm. <laughs> France in the quarterfinals. But but the other thing, and as I've, I have taken quite a lot of stick from Irish friends and... and um, non-Irish friends for saying that. But I also, before I said that, I talked about the intellect of Ireland and how Matt Hansen was scurrying um, a few inches just to make the percentage of Sexton's conversion all the easier. And those are the small details I was trying to say that mm. make Ireland a team who can beat Springboks and win the World Cup. But on the other side, South Africa, who have won three World Cups, will mentally mentally be looking for every edge if they meet Ireland again in the final, and that's a possibility. And I'm saying, in an ideal world, when Ireland got that penalty, there'd have been a little slap and a smile, but not too much more. And it was turned around a bit, and people were saying, how could you say that about them walking around and clapping the crowd? Just to get that straight, I was all for the players thanking the crowd, because even from Lille, I could hear the noise. It was an amazing atmosphere. But it was just that that's instant yeah. yeah, instant. I, I know what Woody's saying, and he came from an era like myself that you actually, if you want something and you're really happy, you have to sort of suck your cheeks in and and not give your emotion away. And I understood it, but South Africa take anything they can to get an edge, and it was more about South Africa than it was about Ireland. And I bet you that when Farrell gets or has got together with that squad for the first time, he will have said, boys, we've won nothing yet. Mm. So, OK, I might be a killjoy, but so's your coach.